Hello! On this video we'll be covering how to test REST API using Postman Utility before integrated with BMC Helix IDSM. We're gonna cover two scenarios. One is uh, no authentication, REST services, and the other one is basic authentication. So Postman is one of the most used tools to test REST API. This is uh, their homepage or website, postman.com, and here below you can download the latest version for your OS. Now, uh, before to start, I would like to mention that we will be using this application that is part of the Swagger documentation. We will not be covering Swagger on this demo, uh, but I just want to mention this is a bookstore application which has a lot of REST API to test it. It's open it. You can do it by yourself if you, if you want. And uh, let's take a brief look to the documentation. We are going to create a test for the different REST services that are hosted on this uh, application. The first one is going to be to get all the lists of the books that are available. After that, uh, we're going to create a user and then uh, we're going to assign one book to our user. And to do that, let's go to our Postman again. So first, I would like to mention a couple of good practices that I like to use on Postman. The first one is to create a separate collection for each uh, use case or this use case. So you need to go here to collection and at the right you will see a plus sign button. Uh, let's create a blank collection and uh, we're going to call it a bookstore test or rest test if you like. Okay. Now we have created our collection. Now, after that, what I like to do is to create an environment for this uh, particular use case of test. And uh, to do that, uh, you need to go here to environments. Uh, be sure that no environment is selected. And here at the right, you will see one button. Click it and you're going to choose add. This will create a new environment which will help us to keep our variables and uh, logs isolated for each uh, use case or test use case. And let's call it bookstore. Bookstore, sorry. And um, now the next thing that I like to do is to add here in the variables the base URL for each uh, segment or each uh, REST locations. So uh, let's create first a variable for account uh, base URL and then another one for bookstore base URL. Let's go back to our postman. And uh, I already have them here and this is for the bookstore so I'm gonna call it based URL sorry based URL bookstore and the initial and last value will be this one okay so now uh, let's create another one so this one will be called basic account bookstore and this is gonna be so now uh, every time that we need to go to this URL instead to type it com 
uh, the whole URL, we can use our variables that we have created. Now uh, let's save it and um, let's go back to our collection and I like to create a separate folders just to keep it more organized. Uh, let me add a folder and if this, this one uh, it's gonna I'm gonna name it uh, list books and inside of it uh, I'm gonna create a request this request will be called it get all books okay now uh, let's go back to our documentation so this is the get that we're gonna use to uh, retrieve all the books okay we just need to add the slash books to our variable that the variable that we have created and we will receive all the books so let me show you to access to our variables we need to use a double curly bracket uh, excuse me before that uh, we have to select the environment that we have created bookstores and a uh, base URL bookstores okay and here um, we just need to add the slash books uh, is case sensitive so let's be sure that we are using the right one no the B is a capital B so let's go back and let's change it books okay now we are using our base URL adding the slash books and let's trigger it and uh, we have a bunch of books as response and a 200 ok response which means uh, it was successful and let's pick one book uh, let's say this one this one is the one that we're gonna use when we assign this book to our user so let me copy this this value and uh, let me save it right here this is the book to be assigned okay okay now uh, let's create our user uh, I'm gonna create inside of our collection bookstore rest test a new folder and uh, I'm gonna call it create user and inside I'm gonna create a new request um, it's gonna be a post and I'm gonna call it create new user okay so back to our documentation and uh, this is inside account b1 user and we need to send uh, the username and the password in the body of the request in a JSON format we don't need any authentication yet so let's try it uh, if you recall we have created our uh, variable points to bookstore demo com account b1 user that's what we need and uh, now let's go to the body and we're gonna use row json format and uh, we're gonna send what is request which is this one gonna paste it here and let's trigger it um, okay and we have response from the server we have 400 but request what does it means that means that the server has received the request but is not 
fulfilling all the requests or, or all the uh, the structure needed and why uh, the code is the 1300 and uh, password must have at least one non-alphabetic uh, character one or more digit uh, between 0 and 9 one uppercase, one lowercase and one special character so we almost have it but we don't have an uppercase uh, or a special character so I have prepared here another password we're gonna use this one let's replace it sorry let me replace it with the one that we get and uh, now looks good we have uh, an uppercase we have more than eight characters we have numbers and a special character let's trigger it and uh, we have now four, 406 not, not acceptable is telling me that the user already exists it does because I have already created but let's uh, use the test user one okay I just want to show you what kind of answers can you get or what response can you get and the possible codes but now uh, let's create another one and uh, this one was created successfully we have 201 that is created and we also have the response it will be good if we save uh, this information you have two options you can click here and save response to a file but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy since this is just for testing purpose I'm gonna paste it here below my user and I'm gonna paste what I get response the next step that we're gonna follow is to assign one of one book to our user so now let's go back to our documentation and here at the bookstore we're gonna use the post and the parameters that we need to send is the user ID that we have created and the ESBN of one book so let's go back to Postman and the first thing that I'm gonna do is uh, create a new folder um, at folder and let's call it assign books okay now uh, let's create a new request <clears throat> and we're gonna call it assign book to user okay now uh, as we have so is a post one and um, is a bookstore b1 books so we can use our um, this one is the same one uh, bookstores b1 books and uh, now in the body um, we're gonna put in a row format the and, and JSON uh, what is request here let me copy it I'm gonna paste it inside here Oops, excuse me so uh, let's go back to our notes and we have our user ID this is the user ID that we have created okay so instead of a string let's put the user ID and uh, <coughs> this is the ESBN that we have copied before and that's the one the, the one that we are going to assign to our user okay now we have it and let's test it and the response that we get is uh, 401 unauthorized it. the code is 1200 and user 
no authorization. And this is happening because uh, this particular res is expecting to us to get authenticated. So to do that, uh, we need to go to authorization. And we have uh, many different types of authorization, but in this case, we are using basic authorization, okay? So if I put it here on authorization, I just want to show you something. Uh, let's go to headers and authorization. Uh, it's creating a token with the user and password what we have provided. So now let's go and let's try it. Let's see the body and send and done. Okay, it says that uh, the response that the response is 201 created and uh, the ESBM of that book has been assigned to our user. Now, uh, finally, I just want to show you that the book was assigned to our user. For that, uh, I have created a new folder called it Check User Books and a new request called it Check User Books. Okay, here in authorization, we're going to use the same um, user and password that we have created. And uh, the endpoint that we are going to use is uh, Bookstores Demo QI account user and our username, the one that this, the string that we get when we created our user. It's just uh, exactly like here right but if you see uh, we are sending our user here uh, at the URL this is called it uh, a query um, and we need to, to provide the the user ID and of course our credentials so let's see what happened when we execute this one and well we got that the user ID that is the same one that we have here uh, this is the username, this user1 2024 is the one that we have created and it have this book assigned, okay? So we can assign more books if we want and uh, we're gonna see that the list will be increased and all belonging to the same user. Thanks for watching. I hope you have found this information useful. In this video, we have covered the consumption of third-party res API without authentication and basic authentication. You will face similar scenario when you test a res before integrating it with your Helix ITSM. Also, some exceptions and error codes has been intentionally provoked to demonstrate some common issues and how to understand them. See you next time.